haplontic diplontic life cycle it is observed in graphita and in pteridophyta earlier we studied haplontic life cycle in which the main plant body was haploid having single set of chromosomes and that's why it was called as an haplontic similar way in the case of diplontic life cycle the main plant body was diploid having two sets of chromosome or simply chromosomes were in a pairs and that's why it was called as an diplontic life cycle but here in the case of bryophyta and pteridophyta why this life cycle is called haplontic and diplontic life cycle remember that in the case of bryophyta and pteridophyta it little bit vary and how and why male gamete and female gamete undergo fertilization or syngamy to form zygotes we know very well zygote is the first cell of sporophytic plant body in the case of pteridophyta this zygote get transformed into sporophyte plant body and it is diploid this plant body in the case of pteridophyte it is a main plant body it has its independent existence it is long lived and carry out photosynthesis so it is a dominant phase and this sporophytic plant body is the main in the case of pteridophyta like this this sporophyte produce the spore by the meiosis the spores are haploid this haploid spore get transformed into prothallus prothallus is itself is called as gametophyte plant body and it is haploid in the case of pteridophyte again it is a subsidiary plant body so main plant body is the sporophyte subsidiary is the gametophyte it is in the form of prothallus remember that both the plant body have their independent existence they are not depend on each other prothallus do have the ability of photosynthesis and that's why it is independent both have the separate existence and that's why both kind of plant body are found in the pteridophyta and so we can say one such is a diploid another one is a haploid and so it is haplontic diplontic life cycle earlier in the haplontic life cycle only haploid plant has the existence the same way in the diplontic life cycle only the diploid plant body has its existence but here in the pteridophyta both have their separate existence and that's why it is haplontic diplontic life cycle this gametophytic plant body produce antheridium that is female reproductive structure and archegony yeah and theridium is male reproductive structure and archegonium is a female reproductive structure which produce male gamete and female gamete respectively and this way life cycle completes this is the life cycle in the pteridophyta and that is haplontic diplontic life cycle in bryophyta the same male gamete female gamete fuse to form zygote by the fertilization zygote get transformed into the sporophytic plant body in the case of bryophyta this is subsidiary plant body and it is depend on the gametophytic plant body this sporophyte later on undergo meiosis to form spore and these spores are haploid spores this spore germinate and transform into protonema stage it is kind of fibers which spread on the surface or on the substratum and from this protonema the another leafy stage develops remember in the case of bryophyta this protonema and the leafy stage itself are consider as 
गैमेटोफाइट प्लांट बॉडी एंड इट इज हेप्लॉइड एंड द मेन इन द केस ऑफ ब्रायोफाइटा सो हियर बोथ आर एसोसिएट विद ईच अदर गैमेटोफाइट इज इंडिपेंडेंट बट स्पोरोफाइट डिपेंड ऑन दिस प्लांट बॉडी सो वाई इट इज कॉल्ड हेप्लॉन्टिक एंड डिप्लॉन्टिक लाइफ साइकिल remember that both plant body has their own existence the structure of funaria the lower side the plant body is a gametophyte and this is a leafy stage on the gametophyte the plant body develops again antheridium and archaea gonium simply anthidium is a male reproductive structure and archegonium is a female reproductive structure anthidium produce the male gamete and archegonium produce the female gamete the site of fertilization is inside the archegonium and the zygote develop inside the archegonium gametophytic plant body and from this gametophytic plant body a new plant body develops having capsule has a foot seta has capsule seta and the foot like structure and these three constitute a sporophytic plant body so in the case of bryophyta for an example in the phenaria gametophyte and sporophyte both have their separate existence in fact they are not independent sporophyte depend on the gametophyte for the food requirements but even though both plant body has their existence and that's why we consider it is a haplontic and diplontic life cycle